In this video, we're going to look at how we can perform regression analysis uh, on the TI-84 calculator. Um, so the first thing we need to do is put the data in our calculator. And to do that, we're going to go to STAT. We'll press Enter to select Edit. And you can choose any of the lists to put your data in. If you need to clear uh, some list out, you can arrow up, hit clear, and enter. And that's a quick way just to uh, clear out data from one list. Again, you can arrow up to the list name, hit clear, and enter. And that clears all the data from that list. OK, so now I'm going to go ahead and enter some data that I have here for um, bacteria that are growing. All right, and we have hours and the number of bacteria present. All right, so I'll put my hours in L1. And I will put the number of bacteria in L2. OK, so I've got my data in. And the next thing we want to do is look at a scatter plot of the data to determine what uh, the appropriate type of regression would be. All right, so to do that, I'm going to go to Stat Plot. To get there, I hit Second and the Y equals key. OK, I'm going to uh, just use any one of these stat plots. I only need one of them to be on at a time. So I'll just use number one. It's already on. It's already on scatter plot, but I need to tell it where my x values are. So I put my x values in L1. To uh, get to L1, I'll hit second and the one key. Notice when uh, we hit second, that activates everything that's in blue on the calculator. So list one is on the one key. Uh, in blue. And my Y values are in L2, so I'm going to hit second and L2. And it doesn't matter what type of mark you use, uh, that's just a matter of preference. And um, perhaps you may have a calculator that lets you choose color, that's a matter of preference as well. Okay? All right, before I hit graph, I'm going to hit the Y equals key and make sure that either all of my equations are cleared out or turned off. And I don't have any equations right now. So I'll just go ahead and hit graph. And um, if I didn't see the data or I felt like I didn't see all of the data, then I would hit zoom. And you can arrow down to choice nine or you can just hit the nine key. You don't have to arrow down if you remember. And this is going to adjust the window for statistical data. So if you hit zoom and nine, then uh, the calculator should automatically adjust the window so that you can see that data. Okay. Looking at the data, I see a curve, all right, slight curve here. And I think that exponential regression would be appropriate. All right, so that's what we're going to look at next. We want to come up with the exponential regression equation. So to do that, I'm going to go to STAT. And this time, I'm going to arrow over to the CALC menu. And we've already decided that it looks like we have exponential regression going on. So we're going to arrow down to exponential regression, or if you remember that it was number zero, then you could just hit the zero. Okay, I'll hit enter. And again, I need to tell it where I have my um, x values. Mine are in L1. I need to tell it where I have my y values. Those are in L2. Okay, I'm going to leave frequency list blank. And if I want to use this equation or uh, get a graph of it, 
of the actual equation with the data, I can store this equation um, in my y equals list. So to do that, when I get to the line that says store regression equation, I'm going to hit uh, alpha and the trace button. And that quickly gets me to all the different Y1, Y2 options. And you choose whichever one is available to you um, based on what you already have in your calculator. So we saw that all of mine were blank, so I'll just go ahead and use Y1. So this says, I want you to calculate the regression equation, and I need you to store the actual equation on Y1. Okay, if you don't have this option, then I'll show you a little bit later how you can get the regression equation on your y equals list. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and arrow down to calculate and hit enter. All right, so here's my regression equation. First of all, it gives me the model for exponential regression. So it's a times b raised to the x, and it gives me the values for A and B. All right, so that would give me my regression equation. Uh, if I click Y equals now, I can see that that actual regression equation is on my Y equals list. And if I hit graph, then it shows me how the regression equation fits the data. Okay, uh, it's an estimate of the data because the data is not perfectly exponential. But this gives us the best model for fitting the data that we saw in our scatter plot. All right, before I show you how to uh, evaluate um, a point or a number using the equation, I'm going to demonstrate how you can get, it, get the equation on your y equals list if you didn't have the shortcut that um, some of us were able to use. So I've already hit y equals. I'm just going to clear out um, the equation that we have because we're putting that same one there. And uh, to get the equation there, I'm going to go to vars. And I'm going to go down to number five, which is statistics. And then I'll go over to the equation menu. And the last regression equation that the calculator computed is stored in its memory. And so I can just uh, grab that and it puts that equation on my y equals list. Okay, and so we've already seen what this equation looks like when we graph it. Okay, so uh, one of the questions uh, might ask, let's say, how many bacteria are present after, let's say, 10 hours? All right, if I wanted to, of course, I could write it out and type it in manually. But since I've got the equation stored in my y equals list, the way that I can uh, get to that, I'm going to go to the home screen. The way that I can get to that is, again, go to alpha and trace. Okay, I choose my uh, equation, which is y1. And then I'm going to tell it which x value I want it to plug in. So this is kind of like saying f of 10. So uh, plug 10 into the equation that's in y1. And when we do, we get 14,245 uh, bacteria approximately. 